I literally took it and walked in and I got a sale the first day. So <laughs> I, I walked out of there in shock because I could not believe it. I was like, really, it is this easy? easy? That's my client, Melissa, who secured her very first high traffic vending machine location with her very first visit into a public school. Melissa didn't have to make one sales call. She didn't have to memorize any sales scripts. She had to make no phone calls, sent no emails, just walked into this location with a proprietary secret weapon and she was able to secure that high traffic vending machine location at that public school with ease. Believe me, 14 years in this industry, this is not the norm. So this is the video for you if you wanna find out how to get high traffic locations, build a six figure vending machine business and fast. Enjoy. Hey Melissa. Hey, how's it going Ryan? It's going well, it's going well. Not as good as it's going for you I hear. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, it was, uh... It was great. I went in to do my first pitch. I actually, I nailed a contract and surprisingly, I was, I was just really shocked. So, but yeah. the gentleman was really nice. He was really just for it. He took a look at the brochure. The gentleman being the principal? The principal, yeah. So I yeah. actually, I had to wait a little bit, but she's like, you know what, he'll take you. And it yeah. was a charter school, a, just a little bit down the street from where I'm at. So it was a charter school down the street from where you're at. So yeah, let's talk about it because you came on board here at Ending Accelerator. Our team did what we do, doing all the data, research in your area, identifying opportunity. What did you know about the school before you went in? I knew who to ask for. I knew mm -hmm. already the number of students. I did see that they had a vending machine, but that it was a beverage machine. And sure enough, they did have one, but it was off to the side. It wasn't even on. The school yeah. was servicing it themselves, but they had yep. stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. But then also you have a secret tool. Mm -hmm. And that secret tool is part of our six figure location brochure collection, specifically for public schools. Talk to me about how the brochure helped you secure that location. Oh yeah. I mean, it, it gives you the confidence to walk in there and know what you're talking about. The fact that you have your brochure there and you're kind of walking them through the highlights of it is what's super helpful yeah. so i did just that <laughs> really didn't ask any questions he just said where do i sign so that's really that was that easy so now there's a proprietary language on that brochure at the beginning uh, of on that first page we don't share only with clients of course and you know what that is and what it says how did you react when you saw that information on the front of the brochure i mean he just was like oh okay you know <laughs> and i go yeah i mean he was really respectful he allowed me to like go through he really didn't ask too many questions or stop me i was offering him a solution he's like i didn't know what to do with this vending machine and literally they don't have anything else so really asked me for any questions other than are you going to charge me to put this vending machine here <laughs> and i said no this is free that's why he was like done so what you're saying is the brochure answered all of his questions for him without even having to ask any yes we built it that way where it covers literally everything and you're being in this industry myself for 14 years i, I know all of the information that they're going to require when it comes to the machines and the products the compliance for the nutritional guidelines, the benefits to them, and then everything in regards to knowing everything about the machines. And it gives you that right there at your fingertips so that you don't have to practice any sales pitches. You don't need to know any objections. You don't have to make any sales calls because you, you don't know the pain of securing a school. <laughs> Melissa, without those brochures for 14 years, I would have told you it's going to take you anywhere from three to six months to get your first school potentially. Yeah. So congratulations. You got it with a one call close as they say in sales. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Nancy, coming in vending accelerator mm -hmm. right you took your time to enroll which is all good because i know your funds in place and what have you but also you had a lot of great questions well how was everything that you've received to date from the course my mentorship the brochures my team met or exceeded your expectations it exceeded my expectations the level of information that you provide right off the bat you have it all broken down i love your organization on those files because it's like okay i need a location it's public schools and then we go underneath and we're looking in all the files so yeah. i mean from that standpoint to the brochures how they're just tailored to your mm -hmm. logo if you want to provide it and stuff not only that the information that you gave me i literally took it and walked in and i got a sale the first day so <laughs> I, I walked out of there in shock because i could not believe it. i was like really it is this easy i, I just <laughs> yeah so value it, absolutely no yeah. I'm, I'm very happy get what you pay for now you have a contract with what is it 550 students it's going to remove the existing vending machines and you're going to be the only vending machine on campus Mm -hmm. Yes, he was asking for two initially. And he says that sometimes, depending on the school year, by the time where everybody enrolls and everything, we he might have six, 650 or 750. Mm -hmm. 650 or 750 students. You typically only want to place one machine for every 500 students. So not quite there, but you know, potentially if the sales are there, if you're generating you know, 60 sales or 70 or 80 sales a day, because that'll get you there every other day or every day, then you would want to add that second machine. If 
only 10% of those kids purchase a day, which would be really low, that would be 55 sales a day. Nice. Which is amazing because the average vending machine sells 10 sales a day. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes. So that's awesome. That's what the brochures do for you and getting the right information. But obviously, like you said, with the spreadsheet, be able to just click on each tab, schools, private schools, charter schools, hospitals, medical facilities, YMCAs, and just say, what kind of location do I want to walk into today where I know there's opportunity, no machines, broken down machines, poor servicing. So that's the key there. And then of course, being able to just willing to do the work and then just put your hand up when you need help and uh, get inside the mentorship. Yeah. Oh, you, and you guys are so responsive. I appreciate yeah. that a lot. Literally, yeah. I know that when um, I sent out the email, Brian like gives me a call. I go, wow. I go, thanks for calling me. I go, he's like, <laughs> yeah. He goes, so you got your contract? Are you excited? I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm still processing. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, well, that's cool. So then, and then we start talking about the, then what's what's next, right? Then I have questions and you're involved, you know? So it's it's been great. I, I appreciate awesome. that part. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I can't wait to see how excited you are after your machine gets on the ground and you're making some money. So we'll follow back up with you. Yes, I'm looking forward to that for sure. <laughs> okay, cool.